the 5 volt signal is short this 5 volt is short switching again and again restart start soft start restart the IC will go in brust mode it will go in switching again and again trying to find the feedback we can see if we have output short circuit our rectifier is short I have short circuit here any component is short we will find this problem actually what is going on here when I short circuit the output terminal the feedback mechanism informs the control circuit when I make short circuit to any component capacitor diode any component in the output section is short the optocoupler will intimate to the control section that there is something wrong assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu welcome to Haseeb Electronics every day I receive many message on my whatsapp too many message on my facebook in the comments so we have problem in SMPS SMPS have no output SMP have SMPS have fluctuation the voltage are above or down and voltage are varying it have fluctuation we will see what is the basics of this issue and how we can overcome on this problem first of all I am special thankful for every my valuable honorable viewer and thanks for your comments thanks for your feedback I really appreciate because no one is complete I try to transfer my experience my many followers many viewers my seniors they give feedback and that feedback is really a very best gu guideline I am not a professional youtuber first of all because I have my own project these videos I am just sharing to just help out just to share the knowledge maybe someone can take benefit from this so if you know something we must share our knowledge and any point if I am saying wrong something it is your responsibility if you are aware of the subject if you understand that I am saying wrong you must write in the comment box Mr. Ashraf you are saying this 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 is not accurate accurate is this so really I will personally thankful these are my whatsapp numbers if you have any question let me know maybe according to my knowledge according to my experience maybe I can say something and I receive many messages these are all list of videos it's about 300 plus videos I have to do I have another notebook I have many subjects and I note, note down if sometime I become late I will say sorry first of all we have to understand the phenomena of SMPS in any switch mode power supply we have some blocks here is 220 volt AC it is called EMI filter protection block EMI filter and protection block here are fuses and some 
protection for frequency current voltage then there is a DC bus then we have inverter we can say inverter SMPS QWM whatsoever then we have here transformer it is isolated then we have a diode rectifier here we take positive voltage negative then there is some filter positive voltage load resistor and output voltage come from this side to DC bus inverter here is some IC this IC will make switching this DC voltage will pass through this coil and due to induction feature we have induced voltage in secondary so this voltage will apply to diode rectified capacitor and we have outputs as we know SMPS switch mode power supply it have a facility it have ability it have a special feature so that it will regulate the voltage it will regulate the output how it will regulate it will regulate by means of switching how is switching to switch the voltage in this winding positive voltage we have some source here here is BJT FET IGBT whatsoever any switching mechanism we apply these pulses here it is a very key point this pulse will arrive here and it will open the gate it will open the shutter it will open the switch we can say here is a switch on off on off so this switch is electrical electronically controlled by these pulses the duration of this pulse will determine how much long period it will operate the current will, will flow from this point to this point and then we take output from output secondary coil now the system will start switching what is feedback feedback is basically a closed loop monitoring system from here something moves and reaches here and here is some control if we have some intelligent system which have communication between these two po output and input if we have something if we have some device some component which will monitor this voltage the output if this output will go up it will inform the control system that the output is going high what it will do this system should be capable to reduce the switching reduce the out reduce the output 
so when it will come in the streamlined stable so this feedback will say now voltage are okay and it will fix the output at that point if the output is decreasing what will happen it will immediately inform the control system that the output is decreased so it will start more switching it will increase the output level so this level this is a closed loop monitoring system output is going outside from here to the load and some part of the output is provided to the control system it is closed loop it was always it is monitoring how it is working we will see in detail and we will see the response how it is working and how it controls this is our switching mechanism this is inverter we apply 300 volt to this coil and we apply switching here and this switching like this when this switching is being performed suppose it is switching from this point to this point I can say it is one second suppose it is example it is not one second because it is working in kilohertz but for example for best understanding I will give example so I can say from one second period every one second from here to here one second from start from here to here one second from here to here one second how much time it is on we can say 0.2 second out of one second point two second on and point eight second off point two second on point eight second off so it is switching now I have a output monitoring circuit I connect some reference anything it is just for example now it started switching for example I am taking 8 volt here output I applied you can say 7 volt zener its example this zener will drop 7 volt at 8 volt this optocoupler will take voltage it will start switching its a rough example when there were no voltage suppose there is no output this pulse width modulator started switching it started this pulse from this point it started pulse from this point and current started flowing here magnetic field build up when this magnetic field will build up it will cause to switching voltage when I will receive 8 volt here what will happen because when it started switching the voltage level increased started increasing when the voltage level increasing and at 8 volt when the level we will take 8 volt 8 volt level is obtained this optocoupler will activate and it will conduct so this transistor will forward bias and we will receive feedback here that the output output level is achieved so at that time it will adjust its duty cycle there is another factor that is called auxiliary winding that is also involved in that case but now we will discuss this circuit it will adjust the pulses when these voltage due to load due to any reason these voltage are dropped 
when these voltage are dropped what will happen it will inactivate it when it is deactivated when the voltage level dropped the biasing voltage for this diode dropped it will off and the biasing or conduction level of this transistor will change and it will intimate the pulse width modulator that i have no voltage in the output or voltage is dropped that time it will increase its pulse width first it was switching point 2 second and point 8 second off now we can say it will start point 4 second on point 6 second off so it will change its switching timing this pulse width modulator will change the conduction time first this transistor was on in this period only for this time 0.2 second first from 1 second it was on just only 0.2 second when the voltage level dropped this transistor started switching for 0.4 second out of 1 second 0.4 second on 0.6 second off so it will increase the switching time it is called pulse width modulation it will change the duty cycle so this pulse will change because frequency is same it will just only adjust the pulse switching time on time vs on off time so it is our mechanism feedback mechanism it is generating power like here we discussed control system which which is controlled this one is control system this ic it is intelligent system it will take feedback and it will adjust the switching period so feedback mechanism is here in my last video i discussed i calculated a feedback mechanism and we discussed a circuit in any switch mode power supply which have a regulation feature most of the time tl431 is used the vn that is v output as, as well the part of the output the part of the output a portion of the output is taken to the feedback circuit so here is feedback circuit we have two resistors here r1 r2 actual these two resistors offer a set point a reference point to the voltage reference we have a fixed voltage reference it is very intelligent and it is precise it will sense in millivolt when the voltage level the adjusted voltage level v reference from ground to pin number 1 reference pin pin 1 2 3 reference point so reference point when it, it will take reference point it will allow a voltage to con flow from the optocoupler it will allow the voltage to flow from optocoupler it is our output terminal from output terminal we are applying some portion to this circuit when we will obtain the required voltage at these two terminal this is ground this is positive terminal here is positive terminal ground when our required voltage will appear at these two points at that time it will allow to flow a signal from this transistor because this transistor is isolated so it will intimate suppose here i applied a battery here then we will discuss practical circuit first i will give example then we will shift to the practical circuit so i applied 
0.775 and it have no output in the LED. I connected one LED to determine that the voltage are appear that the required voltage level are present. The voltage are increasing and this circuit is still inactive 2.9 3.2 volt 3.4 now we can see this circuit triggered at 25.18 volt why because in last video I adjusted this reference now this circuit is triggering at 25.18 one eight is minimum level when it will increase one nine 25.18 volt this is off Twenty-five point one nine. It turns on. Point zero one. One eight off. One nine on. Point zero one volt sensitivity. Decrease the switching level. I will change the reference through adjusting this resistor. We can see I adjusted this level. First it was switching at 25 volt. Now it is switching at 13.31 volt. So the value of R2 is basic key point to adjust the reference to adjust the output of the circuit. So why? Because here we give a reference the voltage drop in the R2 will determine the switching level. So now it is switching at 5.9 volts and now I will connect in ohms. This time I am having 100 ohm resistor. This time the required voltage are available. When the voltage will drop, it will increase the resistance. Now we have open resistor. Op open. The voltage are increasing at a specific level. We will receive a signal. Actually this signal is communicated to the pulse width modulator. When we receive a proper required value which we have adjusted from these potentiometers, these resistors R1 and R2, at that time it works as a closed switch. It will apply one way resistance. How one way resistance? In this way it is open circuit because it is a transistor. We are getting one way resistor. Ground to positive from emitter to collector and if I will re reverse the leads so it is resistor but it is one way resistor its drop voltage will up approximately 0.5 volt, 0.6 volt as a forward diode. So when we receive a valid signal that time it will work, it will behave like a diode.
let's move to practical circuits i have this circuit it is 5 volt mobile charger when you are working on electrical circuit take care it is very dangerous because high voltage are available inside so if you are not aware if you don't know the safety never make a practice on these circuits if you are a professional then that's okay now I applied power so I have output here 5.2 volt this time this 5.2 volt are this 5.2 volt this signal is applied to this reference here is a SMD reference Zener reference this three dot three point then we have optocoupler here two points two points input output forward condition in working condition condition good working condition I am taking one volt at this inner at this optocoupler here optocoupler IC the same we discussed here same we discussed here we have optocoupler when it will this IC will start switching it will increase its duty cycle until it receives a feedback signal that feedback through this optocoupler our subject will start now now what happens I connected the output side of the optocoupler suppose something short circuit in the output area I have output short circuit for example I have something short, short circuit in the output I am taking feedback our output terminal is short the output terminal is short we will find this problem not only output terminal even if I have rectifier short if I have output capacitor short I have diode short any component short in the output area we will face this problem I have three diodes short in the output area I have output short we can see if we have output short circuit our rectifier is short I have short circuit here any component is short we will find this problem actually what is going on here when I short circuit the output terminal the feedback mechanism informs the control circuit when I make short circuit to any component capacitor diode any component in the output section is short the optocoupler will intimate to the control section that there is something wrong in that case this control section this IC will increase the pulse width when it will increase the pulse width the same time we receive extra voltage in the auxiliary winding as well these voltage suppose this IC needs 9 volt to 12 volt in working condition 9 volt to 12 volt when we have short circuit 
the control circuit will try to increase the pulse width when it will increase the pulse width the more magnetic field will generate in the primary it will cause to induce more voltage in the secondary at that time we will take more voltage in auxiliary these auxiliary winding feedback winding will apply vcc voltage to this ic this ic will compare how much current is flowing in the output section so that will determine the switching level suppose this voltage increase at full pulse width it receives 13 volt for example this ic will determine that there is over current why over current because it is taking more voltage due to over switching so it will go in over voltage protection system so that feature will be enabled that time it will go off then it will go off this voltage at this capacitor here at VCC capacitor will decrease to 9 volt when decreased 9 volt it will switch again when it will switch again again try to switch to find the feedback so that time when the feedback level is not reaching in the pulse width modulator now soft start start restart these three features that are that time are active in brust mode it will start in brust mode it will try to find the feedback from the optocoupler so anytime we have problem in this area if our this winding is not good this res diode is not good capacitor is not good or our feedback circuit has some issue that time we will find the problem this problem will be observed in that case short component in output problem in feedback problem in VCC circuit these three these three reasons most common reasons for this issue we take a portion of output this 5 volt we are taking out at same time we are monitoring through these two resistors to the reference 431 and it is applying a signal voltage reference signal to this optocoupler and optocoupler will switch and it will give a feedback to this switching mechanism if we have problem here if we problem here this signal is short as I shorted in the output terminal the 5 volt signal SB is short this 5 volt is short switching again and again restart start soft start restart the IC will go in brust mode it will go in switching again and again trying to find the feedback so this is the most common issue if we have I have problem here if I have capacitor short circuit I will find this same issue if anyone rectifier diode because any component will bad we will find this issue we have three rectifier in parallel here are three rectifier in parallel but if one rectifier one diode goes bad we will find this problem any one rectifier is bad we have fluctuation so in that case the first step we have to verify the output area the output components then it is our first step when you are working on any circuit never touch the hot side of the board when it is live it is power on never touch to this area because it have very dangerous voltage very high voltage so your safety is must be the first priority second step 
near the IC, near the pulse width modulator, you have to check the VCC pin of that IC. Check the part number of the IC, go to internet and search which one pin is VCC pin. Or you can find, then there is another easiest solution. Check the transformer, check this transformer, it have main primary winding, auxiliary winding, primary, auxiliary. This auxiliary winding, one end is connected to ground, the second end there is a diode, this diode. Most of the time, the cathode of this diode will connect it to VCC pin. So this diode is connected to this VCC pin, that is pin number 2. Yeah, that's pin number 2. So you have to monitor if you have fluctuation in the output. First check the output, this output. At in good working condition, the pin number 1 of, and 2 of the optocoupler should be stable. It is good working condition. And check the VCC voltage of the IC. Where is the main capacitor? Here is the main capacitor and it is ground. Ground at 10.63. If you find this voltage varying voltage here at VCC pin that time our IC will not work properly. If we have short circuit in the output area the transformer and the inverter IC will try to switch again and again at that time we will find variation. At the same time this line from here to going to this capacitor. So here we have a capacitor at this point. This is VCC capacitor for the IC. Every IC, every IC have VCC capacitor. So you have to check the voltage at VCC capacitor if the fluctuation is still you checked all the components in the output area you have to verify this capacitor this VCC capacitor. It is connected to VCC pin of the optocup of the pulse width modulator. For fluctuation of the circuit we have just only small components. The output section and monitoring circuit. If and VCC capacitor. If this capacitor is not good that time we have problem. So I think this video is good for you. If it is good, like, subscribe and share. And if you want to watch my future videos, you can press the like button. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.